a true sequel won't happen due to Age of Calamity. So let me clarify first, even though I like the game a lot less, this isn't like a big old Age of Calamity sucks a Kate speech or anything, no, I know this isn't the game's intention to do this, it's kind of like Spongebob messing up Nickelodeon, but yeah, this is just making me think that like with this coming after the original Hire Warriors and kind of like taking over of like style and image and gameplay and whatnot and continuing with the big saturation of Breath of the Wild stuff that's been happening recently, I kind of feel like that this is like the new expectation and it's just like fully pushed this game to the side in a way and unfortunately it makes it feel like it's a bit more forgotten and like I really, really want, like, a sequel to this specifically, where, like, the full cast returns, and, you know, there's, like, newcomers on top of it. Like, I would love if they had more obscure ones, like Death Sword and Gomez and that kind of stuff. That would be fucking awesome. And, yeah, like, also the other characters I mentioned earlier in this iceberg, you know, the ones, but I feel like if that happened, people would be like, well, what happened to all the age calamity stuff? And... They want to avoid stuff like that, and obviously they can't add everything from Age of Calamity 2. It's kind of its own separate thing, but at the same time, it's weird. I guess there's other series that have had, like, a game, then a spin-off, and then a true sequel that's more like the first game, but I don't know. It's hard to say what everybody's mindset on this would be, and I know I sound like kind of a downer saying this, but I don't know. I just feel like at this point, it's kind of over. Legends Maps and Wii U... So here's where we get to the really speculative, obscure, dark stuff, and uh, some of you might know that the Wii U version is fucking weird, and it never got the Legends maps, even though the characters are in the game, which is, again, really odd to see them in there in hindsight now, considering there's, like, no use for them, and yeah, they're just almost out of place in a way on the Wii U version because of all of that. And it makes you think, like, why not? Like, do they really not like the Wii U version that much? I mean, there's high-res versions of all of that stuff. We've seen it um, in Definitive version, obviously. And you still had to pay for the extra characters in the Wii U version. So it's like, why didn't we get the maps? Well, maybe they were intended to come to there. And maybe there is some data for it or something somewhere. But they just never added on to, like, define the fact that the Wii U was kind of doomed to obscurity. Wii U version is a beta, and here's the last we'll put this to rest, and this sums up everything. The weird lack of content, the weird difficulty balance, the rough, like, mechanics and stuff that later got changed and on. Doesn't it all feel like that the Wii U version overall just was a rough first draft? Like, I guess that literally is what it is, and... Why don't we just carry along with that and just say that this version of the game was just straight up a test beta and Definitive for Legends is more so meant to be the final? Enjoying Ganon's Fury. Yeah, I don't know. Um, This is probably the most obscure and weird thing on there and this is definitely such an impossible thought that I can't wrap my head around and... I mean, if somebody does enjoy that somewhere, then please do find them, because they do deserve a grand reward series. Like, what's the deal with this mode? Who the fuck can stand playing it? And I hate that there's unlockables and boss items behind it. It's the reason why I don't play it much anymore. A link to the past content in leaks. This is the final entry. And maybe, maybe my memory's just a little bit fuzzy because it has been a while now. However, when the DLC maps for Legends were all coming out, there were leaks. And all of these leaks ended up being true because they were just like straight up file leaks and that on top of I think rumors, but rumors based on the files. Like for example, the data for Fadi and, uh, not Fadi. Yuga and Raphael's characters' portraits were leaked. And these leaks were also listing out all of the games that were getting DLC. Uh, and the games they listed out were Link's Awakening, which happened, Phantom Hourglass and Spear Checks, which happened, and A Link Between Worlds, which happened. However, something else that was being brought up, separately from A Link Between Worlds, was A Link to the Past. 
and this was being talked about just as much alongside the others, and people were being like, oh, Aghanim is probably coming too, and we're getting a map based on this, and I don't know, maybe they thought it was going to be really alongside like, between worlds or before that, and I also remember people joking about it, but being like, hey, it's actually a possibility now that Link's uncle will be in there, but let's face it, they probably would have added Aghanim, which would have been cool, and yeah, when you think about it, it's really strange, because it's like, why didn't a Link to the Past get representation? In fact, that game has, like, no representation whatsoever. Like, we got NES, now it's, like, through the whole entire existence of the adventure mode, and Link has the classic outfit, and there's the 8-bit weapons, and yeah, that's fully covered. And then we got Game Boy games covered. I mean, we don't have, like, Minish Cap stuff or Oracle stuff, but we got Awakening, and... Guess Four Swords isn't counted. We at least got outfits based on Four Swords in a way. Oh man, Foddy. <laughs> um, and yeah, even the DS games are counted despite those being the least popular. And then obviously all of the main console games got representation. Except for A Link to the Past. And that's weird because A Link to the Past is just one of the most beloved and iconic games in the franchise. And just video games in general too. So why was it completely absent? Well, it appeared in these leaks, and that led up to nothing, and I never really heard anybody say anything about it afterwards, and again, I reiterate, I'm pretty sure it was being mentioned alongside Between Worlds and not being mistaken for it. I mean, after all, how would you mistake in it for a link between worlds when Foddy and Yuga were right? Why do I keep on saying Foddy? It's Raphael and Yuga were right there. They're both purple, I guess. But yeah, it makes you think, maybe they did plan to add a Link to the Past stuff to this, but just got cut last second for some reason, and they thought that could go first since it was so close to Link Between Worlds and also the oldest title. So yeah, there's something for you to go off on stuff that we got a physical release of a beta version for retail. But yeah, thank you for watching this funny little iceberg series. I'll see you all next time.